My first time throwing garbage was so scary and humiliating. Oh God. So I had a lot of garbage for my first maybe two or three weeks. I went out with like five garbage bags. And the garbage guy got so pissed at me. He takes my garbage bags, like smash them on the floor. And there's like 50 people around watching. Hello everyone, Amadeus here. I'm today with another video and I'm in Taipei in this iconic place that you probably recognize if you live in Taiwan and you use YouTube and you check some videos and today we're gonna interview the guy who identifies himself as a Fagwo Taike <laughs> and here I'm asking him why, why is it that? Hello guys, so basically you know I'm, I'm a French guy mm. living in Taiwan That explains the Fagwo part That explains the Fagwo part and Taike I always thought like my my channel and mm -hmm. kind of my the way I live in Taiwan, I really try to I always say try to integrate the society like mm -hmm. I've been working hard on learning Chinese or learning about the culture. I, I'm famous for having those land by tours, which yeah, 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 no, no, those, those are right awesome. here, you know, this is, this is epic. Somewhere this is epic. <laughs> so I thought like Taiko is because I heard before Taiko can be some word that's like a bit uh, negative. Yeah, yeah. But like a I gangster kind of stuff. Yeah, but actually Taiko just means like typical Taiwanese. Is, is that right? Is that right? Can you correct us? Because you know, I'm, I'm not sure about this. Yeah. Taike, it, is, it, is it anything negative to call someone Taike? Or for a foreigner, it's actually a compliment. Mm. So yeah, Fago Taiko, that's me. But my Chinese name is Feng Wei Yuan. So mm. I usually call myself Yuan Yuan. Okay. I stay in France with like, a, you know, for a while. What I learn about French food is like, it's very important for French people. Like they're very proud of food, very proud of wine. And it's all about the sophistication of the food. So the way you cook, like you take ingredients, but you like improve them so many times at so many stages that you have like a final meal. Mm -hmm. And there are like, apparently, and people claim there are like French restaurants in Taiwan. What do you think? <laughs> Is it easy to find French restaurant in Taiwan? So I'm gonna be very honest. I have never been to a French restaurant in Taiwan. I, I have been to a uh, Moroccan restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in France, it's also very popular yeah, yeah, to yeah, have those dishes mm -hmm. from Morocco. So I went to that one once. French restaurants, I have never been. So if, if we talk about French food, I would say I go to bakeries, mm -hmm. uh, eat my favorite croissant or bread. So you can find croissant in, in Taiwan? Yes. Okay, yes. so the French people can immigrate here now. This is fine. Taipei has, <laughs> I would say, quite a few options uh, for French pastries, mm -hmm. Tien Dien. For restaurants, I, I cannot really say because I have never been myself. <laughs> you know, one thing I think is interesting, is I feel French people and Taiwanese people have this common thing that they both care a lot about food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, if, that's you, thing. if you make a video in Taiwan about food and you do something wrong, you will have <laughs> tons of comments uh, saying that. One time I was in France doing yeah. pao mien, and I think I put I put the water before well, or after. You messed up doing pao mien. Yes. How bad can you be at cooking pao mien? I don't think I'm that bad, you know, and I mean, when I do it, I appreciate eating it, but it's more like if you make this one mistake, like mm -hmm. you put this before that, or I don't know, there was this tiny thing and then I realized my huge mistake and I was mm -hmm. like, damn it, I should just remove the video now. Because, <laughs> because the people that, like you, bust you with You get like 50 comments that are exactly the same. <laughs> there are lots of differences between France and Europe and Taiwan, right? So you were talking about, you were very confused about garbage trucks, right? My first time throwing garbage was so scary and humiliating. Oh God! So, I mean, if if you are in Taipei, you, you thought it's an ice cream, and you start grabbing the garbage <laughs> and go to pay. Not not that <laughs> not that innocent. But uh, if you are in, I think Taipei and New Taipei, mm -hmm. you need to have special garbage bags. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to buy them in supermarkets, mm -hmm. um, and they will only take those garbage bags. Nobody told me that. Oh. And the second thing is, if you go to the supermarket, those bags, you cannot get them by yourself. You have to ask the clerk, you want <coughs> those garbage bags and they take it from under the counter. Mm -hmm. So as a foreigner, if you cannot speak Chinese, it's not something you can do easily. Yeah, yeah. So anyhow, nobody told me about this. I got normal garbage bags. Mm -hmm. And the second thing was, when is the garbage truck? You know, like every day it's maybe different time or different mm -hmm. place depending on the day. So I had a lot of garbage for my first maybe two or three weeks. 
that was I was waiting for that moment, you know, like when is the garbage truck? I got ready and that one day I went out with like five garbage bags. Okay. It was like, you know, I have to do it today. I have too much garbage right now. So I go there, it's very heavy, uncomfortable. I go there, I threw it and the garbage guy got so pissed at me <gasps> and just speaks in Chinese to me. And th this is my first month. I don't speak a word of Mandarin. He takes my garbage bags like smash them on the floor and I'm, I'm you know obviously I'm like confused I don't know what what's how it was going on yeah he opens them mm -hmm. tears them apart and takes a few things and the rest is just laying in the middle of the street like the bags are broken at that point so. yeah, yeah and there's like 50 people around watching I don't have any idea what I can do like my bags are you know like teared up in the mm -hmm. middle of the street so in the end, of course, I I also understood some people explained to me uh, that only those special bags can go in, so he refuses to take mine. And in the end, a few nice people who still had space in their own bags and they took your garbage. Took my garbage. But you know, it's very humiliating that somebody tears up your garbage and it's on the floor. Everybody can see your garbage, you know, and you even have people picking up your garbage to put them in theirs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, no, but it's actually very sweet. Eh? It's sweet, but it's also leave you with the problem. I would rather disappear, you know, like, okay, I disappear <laughs> right now. I know, I know, I know. No, but it's, yeah, that's so you learn a lesson. I learned a hard lesson. And for many years after that, I always got scared of the garbage truck, scared of doing this mistake. <laughs> like anything, you know, you, or you put the cardboard so in the plastic. Do, 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 do. I hide <laughs> under my desk, you know. <laughs> but yeah. sometimes there are romantic stories from like, uh, from my garbage trucks in Taiwan. In Gaoshan, we have Wenzhou, Dashie, and there is a story that the German professor when when throw away the garbage he met his future wife at the same time oh, okay so you see you know sometimes they throw away your garbage and you have to toss it i mean you have to clean it from the floor sometimes you meet love of your life so there is the a garbage. balance yeah <laughs> so i think it's not always that bad you know <laughs> nice good for him when you come to taiwan what, what was your expectation about the food and living here what, what did you know before that i think coming to taiwan was one of the craziest thing to me it was the opposite of anything I knew. Before Taiwan, I only lived in cold countries. Mm -hmm. I lived in Canada, uh, Finland and Sweden. Oh, right. So it's, it's all North countries, cold countries. Coming here was just such a culture shock. You know, it's, I came here in July. Oh. Like the extreme heat, <laughs> the, I don't know, the food, the culture, the language, everything mm. was so different. So what was it like the, 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 the food when you arrived? What did you try there first and what did you like or what scared you off? So the good thing is my, my good friend uh, was French. Mm -hmm. He lived in Taiwan for about one year oh, when right. I came to visit So he him. could go to like Bafa Inji and order like curry, he, he curry could, dumplings. Exactly. He already had some good understanding, mm -hmm. but he still was French as in like he still had a French taste. So mm. he didn't take me to the hardcore stuff oh, right away. Okay, he okay. took me to what he thought I would appreciate as a French. So I had a really nice uh, learning curve, mm -hmm. going to the, the places more like foreigner friendly first. <laughs> and little by little, he took me to those more advanced. Yeah. I think the one thing so I So what's like level one in Taiwan? Level like the easiest one. The easiest one is just like you said, Bafang Inji. He actually took me there. Okay. You have those spot stickers. It's like lovely, it's a bit like ravioli for mm -hmm. Europeans, but also a bit different taste, some nicer sauce. Yeah, yeah. So that's like... Easy to order and it's like, you know what you expect and it comes on one plate. Exactly. Lovely. And night market food also, you, you, you can see the pictures mm -hmm. and you have a lot of really good food. And the, uh, back then, the hardest I had was the century eggs. You thought, Oh, is that how it's called? Yeah. Uh, there, I'm confused because there are a few of them. Maybe maybe the viewers can correct me. But like, there is one that is the, the tea eggs, right? Yeah. This yeah. one I like, but the century eggs is like the black one. Yes. Yeah, this one I don't like. Yeah. So and I don't like also the salty egg thing. The black egg was pretty hard at that mm -hmm. time. I, I was very disgusted. Um, but little by little, yeah. I I just push myself and I don't have to push myself anymore. You know something on my plate i will eat it mm -hmm. i think like tao fun is like also like a very easy start, yeah. starter food and yes yeah. how is it having tao and his girlfriend it's good um nothing to complain about really <laughs> <laughs> but like comparing to like a you know like a western standards of a relationship you think it's, it's there is anything complicated about cross-cultural relationships not for me 
uh, I think it, it really has to do with both people's um, capacity to, mm -hmm. to accept different of culture. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are things that can be a little bit, uh, you have some clash for a few things. For example, shower in the morning or in the evening. Okay. These kind of big topics. So uh, still both. In, in France, everybody showers in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody would believe you are dirty because you shower in the morning. Okay. But in Taiwan, if you dare touching the bed before shower, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a big no, you know. So <laughs> there's a couple of things like this where but you I have kind to... Of, I kind of prefer the evening shower now. Especially in Taiwan, <laughs> yeah, with, with the sweat and everything. Yeah, I think so. it's really Is there yes. something you don't understand about Taiwan after three years, uh, ten years living here? Like something that confuses you every day? For me, like the biggest confusion is like uh, along the place where we live, there they open a new road, and there's like three sidewalks along the road because there are two main roads between there's a sidewalk because you know and, and on the right there are two sidewalks mm -hmm. and sometimes I go there in the morning and still people jog on the street and that's really confusing me like why would you do that yeah <laughs> <laughs> I don't know maybe somebody knows it's like better like to jog on the street when there's like three sidewalks empty or yeah I, I have a similar confusion about mm -hmm. the cycling path mm -hmm. and the pedestrian path mm -hmm. for some reason the bicycle love to be on the pedestrian path in All Taipei. Right. Like it's very precise. There's an icon on the floor, you know, bicycle, yeah, pedestrian. Yeah. But the bicycle, I think they have this culture of if they ride slow, they ride on the most right part of the road okay. in the park. Because I run and every single time you have to be careful of the bicycles coming ahead because they are on your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel it's very frustrating when you're running and you don't want to be paying too much attention mm -hmm. to the the traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tombo 最热门的新车尝鲜全球震惊周报新总统级的顶级食材